Karen, Karen, look at that formation. Formation? Your butt. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, mother suckers? Welcome back to another video. Hope you are having a wonderful day, evening, wherever the hell it is or whatever the hell it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys are watching from the toilet, thank you very much. At lunch, dinner table, anywhere and everywhere. Thank you so much for tuning in. Barry G here, signing in all the way from Harbor Island. Right? Harbor Island. Jeez, when was the last time I fished here? Probably like some time ago. But I am out here with Ken right now. It is 6 a.m. and Saturday morning, Mother's Day weekend. And I am hoping to catch anything and everything. Big or small, you guys already know, I'm going to try to catch them all. But yeah, we're going to hop right into it, guys. Today's goal is to cast and to pray and to hopefully catch something hopefully a mackerel maybe a corvina maybe a halibut but the wind is picking up right now so i'm going to cut this short so our current conditions windy cold overcast and cold yeah we're fishing outgoing tide right outgoing. yeah outgoing so we have a couple hours to fish hopefully we stick something john right now is currently at coronado ferry landing trying to make some bait but he's having a hard time over there but i think he's lying to us so <laughs> Hopefully uh, he comes over with some live smell and we're gonna cast some lines out and try to nail something so You guys sit tight. Don't forget to wipe enjoy the show and also You guys already know I always want to ask you guys. How are you guys doing? How's life? How's fishing? How's the fam? Let me know in the comments below I hope you guys are doing very very well wherever you guys are you guys can be in India Asia China, I don't know Florida, Texas LA which pretty sucks up there. But yeah, how are you guys? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys are holding up pretty well. And I want to thank you guys for tuning in with me. And yeah, grab some popcorn and let's try to catch some fish. So yeah, let's go. Yeah, I might have to go something a little bright. Oh, I'm on. Yeah. Is it a Mac? Yes. Yep. Look how big it is. What do you want to do? Cut them up and throw it? Check it out? You got a knife? Uh-oh. <laughs> no, I don't think we, we came that ready. I don't have a knife on me. Let's just let him go. Yeah. Skunk's off. Peace out, homie. I know there's tons of bat rays out now, though. Yeah, I just got smacked again. Uh, I've been getting a lot of reports, people casting out drop shot and uh, getting hung up on a bat ray. Is it macro? We're gonna have to make it work, bro. We have to cut them up. All right. No, wait. I got that small cooler. We can also, yeah. We can... Well, how big is it first? <laughs> if it's a small one, I'm, I'm throwing him on a hook. <laughs> yeah, bro. This is small enough. Think so? Yeah, dude. What you tell me? Yeah, that's perfect. You, you gonna throw him out? Uh, you can if you want. I'm gonna catch more. All right. Um, nice what ounce weights are you having? I'm gonna need you to open that frunk. Um, how many ounce weights? Yeah. Four. Three, yeah. four, and two. Can I get it? Uh, is it pyramid? Um, torpedo. Yeah, perfect. Only got ones. <laughs> Oh, you're gonna throw it like that? Are you sure you don't want the cables? I have cables. Cables? Green, yeah, the green cables. Oh no, that's fine. I have okay. some too. Alright. It's just I want to try this one. Right. Sorry, Ken, taking your spot. Please don't fly away. Please don't fly away. Like, 
Oh, dude, I'm getting beat up. But beat him up. <laughs> If he doesn't get bit, we'll come back, chop him up, and throw him back out. <laughs> what am I to you, chop liver? Yep. <laughs> Here, just cast his ass out. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Cast it on our right side, like one o'clock. Oh, you went right over me. Did I really? I think so. That was okay, just leave it. You on three or two? Three. Dude, my shit's... Ounces, you said? Three ounces, you mean? Are you talking about... Wait. Oh. I'm on. Yeah, on me, I think. Oh no, my line was running. Was it? Yeah. Okay, I'm on, I'm on. Oh, I'm on. I'm on. Yeah, it's heavy. I don't even care if it's small. No, it's it's a ray. No, but I'm about to mess everyone's line up. I looked down at my reel and I saw the spool going. You don't have to zoom in, dude. Oh no, I'm gonna. It's crooked. You need that big ass net? Well, not yet. <laughs> I'm nowhere close, dude. He wants this big gaff. Oh, hell no. No, we're not gaffing it. It's probably like a 20, 30 pounder. Yes. <laughs> yeah, on the live Mac. For now. Watch it be a freaking car door. All right, he hasn't woken up all the way yet. Dude, on the live Mac. <laughs> okay. He's running. Yeah, go ahead. If you hear me yelling, then yeah, help. <laughs> I'm kicking my butt. <laughs> Walking my fish. <laughs> Mud Marlins. Yeah, but they're harmless. Uh, I wouldn't kill one. People like eating them ceviche, but I mean, if you look at their eyes, it's like human eyes. Yeah, yeah, he's down there. He's right there swimming. Twelve o'clock. Oh yeah, he still got heart, or she, whatever it is. That net, this. The handle is not strong, okay? So you just have to scoop him up and grab. Oh, he's gone. 
Yeah. Oh, okay. It's okay. <sighs> that was fun. <laughs> No nets are strong enough to pull up a halibut or um, bat ray. We get them to swim into the net, then you grab the net itself, the the the, the ring like that. You don't like swim in and then you just like. Yeah, then you drag it up. Oh, I see. And then that's when I come down and help you on the other side. Whew. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey, I consider that a catch. Yeah. Oh yeah, it was like a 35, 40. Hey, hey. oh shit. Oh, please don't let it be another bat ray. No! No. It's up there. Yeah, there's no way this is a hell of it. Okay. Yeah, I'm tingling up with John Bad. Oh, it's a little ray. It's a little ray. Net. Oh shit. All right, who am I over? Who am I over? Grab the fucking rod. It looks like a boat. It's like on the, I can just grab the line, dude. It's not gonna come off. It's small. No, I don't want him to cut himself. All right, can I bring it to you? There. You got it? Yep. It's a little guy. There it is. First bat ray landed. Ken. <laughs> nice kid. <kidding. Yeah>, what? <laughs> little guy. It's about like 15 pounds, 10. Just let him go. Ravioli. Ravioli. Not a monster, but you you seem winded, bro. A little bit. Yeah, cause I was like, oh, where is it? <laughs> All right, two bat rays, one Mac. I'm happy. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, drink my coffee before I re-rig this one. Damn, caught one on the the giant one on the live Mac, dude. Yeah, huh? Yeah. All right, time to re-rig. And that was on 15 pound floral too. Well, a wise farmer John told me 15 pound for a halibut. So. You guys already know, about a re-rig, this is my choice for leader. Are you using the same rig uh, as Coronado? Yep. So I'm adding a slider to mine, which mm -hmm. doesn't tangle. Yeah. You notice that? Yeah. Then I put a peg so the, the, the weight, weight doesn't, doesn't go into the freaking yeah. leader line. No balls. Cause some of these- Two pound. I know, right? <laughs> I'm gonna do the two pound. Yeah, I got my ass kicked and I broke my rod. <laughs> Show yourself, bro, snap. <laughs> Old ass like video. Five inches from the tip, dude. Oh wait, was that the Hayuga? No, it was the Presso. It was over at Shelter. Oh. So I'm gonna rig this up real quick. I'm gonna show you guys how I have it set up. It's completely different from the Coronado rig. So uh, let's get the stuffs out. First thing you're gonna need is leader, of course. 15 pound floral or 20 pound, whatever you like. Honestly, don't care. Whatever helps you sleep at night. And however long you want your weight to be sliding around or your bait to be swimming. So I got about two and a half feet right here. To get one of these uh, six cents peg stop. I'll explain to you guys why I use the peg stop on this rig. I bring the peg all the way up to my leader. Let's see. Show you guys right there. All the way up to my leader knot. I don't know if it's focusing, but right there. And you can use any beads you want, but this is what I have. Just grab two of them. Show you guys the way. Show you the way. Before I tie all that onto my main line, you are going to want a barrel swivel. Any size I prefer or recommend something that can handle, you know, mackerel and bigger fish, of course. 
Get about, what is this, like a foot and a half, two feet of leader. Tie a Palomar knot to your swivel. Everyone always asks, why do you tie the swivel separately but not with your main line? I'll explain in a second. All right, so I got the swivel right here. Tag in or leader line for the hook. And I cut it right there. So this right here is completely separate. It's not even attached to um, the main line. Now I go back to my main line leader. Get the first bead. Drop it right in. You can use a snap swivel or whatever with a barrel swivel that has a clip for your weight. I forgot what these are called. I had these for like years sitting in my garage. Slide that right in. Right now I have peg, bead, and slider. And get the other bead, the last one. Drop it right in. All right. So now it should look like this. Boom. Pretty simple. Probably expensive too. Uh, and then here's the tag in with the swivel. Reason why I do this because I can tie a Palomar knot easier to my main line. Palomar knot, you guys know, is my favorite knot. It is reliable, it is proven, and I will always use it. The hooks I'm using for this setup is gonna be size four ring. I believe this is the ring fly liner. Cutting point by owner. I don't know if you guys can see that. It is. I like the ring hooks because it allows the bait to swim kind of freely. I mean, guys use it. Uh, we use this for, for Dorado, right? The ring ones? Yeah. For Dorado. I know I took one of your weights, but where did I put it? Right there. Okay. And a basic Palomar knot to the ring. My weight of choice is going to be Ken's three ounce torpedo weight. Grab that snap or clip, whatever you're using. Make sure it's all set up correctly. And uh, clip it right on. So right here I have, oops, ow. So here I have peg, bead, slider, bead, weight, leader, size four, hook. No. And I got myself real good. <laughs> Courtesy of John this morning, he went out to um, get us some fresh bait. What is it? Smelt, right? Yes, Smelt. <laughs> Smelt, grunion, fish, food, halibut candy, bat ray candy. Anything eats this. Even me. Lost my first bait, but hey, whatever. <laughs> Ken did too. So. Got our lines out and fingers crossed we cast something. So if you guys are still on the toilet right now, your legs must be numb. You either ran out of toilet paper or you forgot to wipe. Ever happen to you? Oh yeah. All the time, right? I always forget to wipe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm getting bit. Oh, oh, go, get ready. Get ready. I think he's on it, your drag's loose. Just watch it, is your line going? Could be the current. Hold well, on, let me lose it for you. Just let it load up, let it load up. You're getting bit, right? Yep. It's probably a bass. I think so. Oh, there, there you go. There you go, you're on. Boom, told you. Ah, oh, it popped off. Oh, he's still on. He's still on? Yep. Good one? Yep. All right, bring him up. Get up here. Let me know which way he's going. Doesn't feel like a good one. Probably small one. He hasn't woken up. <laughs> no, not yet. Let me know when you see color. It's okay, take your time. Do not lock the drag. If he, if he has to run, let him run. Right. Let him run, let him run. Yeah, I know, I know. Four hours on the dot, bro. Yeah. Yep. Back to drag, two clicks. Not too much. The thing with finding this guy, every click matters. I back it up a little bit. Just 
keep it up. Keep the rod tip up. It's fine, it's fine. Once I see color, color. All right, going down. So oh, shovel nose, dude. There it is. Shovel nose. Yeah. Guitar fish. Yeah, guitar fish. Does it taste good? Yeah, but there's better fish to eat. <laughs> wow, look at that. That's yeah. a big one. Did you eat that whole mac? No. Oh, it's just like pieces. Oh, yeah. Of course. Yeah, right there. Yeah, just back here, right? The first one? Yep, no. Yeah. Well, actually, no. This is about like my second in my life. <laughs> yeah, kid. You waited the, all day for that one. Hey, Ken. At least you didn't lose that fish. I know. But you lost mines. <laughs> I know, I know. I know. It's a bass. It's for sure a bass. It's like they know when I touch the rod, they stop biting. See? It's like he senses me. And I stop biting. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably a little bass or something small. Or something. Yeah, something. Yeah. I think it's a thorn back. Oh, it's on, it's on. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's not too big, but he ran. He was on it for a minute. Yeah, I wasn't sure. Then I started reeling it up and it got heavy. These, uh, either a ray or a shovel nose or thorn back, because they're not pulling no more. No? No, but it's, it's a little heavy. It's coming up close. There he is. What is it? Shovel nose? Yep. yep. Dude, there's like another one right behind him. I thought uh, that was it. I know, I saw him too. Hold on, hold on. I'm bringing him to you. Yeah, I'm wrapped, dude. I'm wrapped. Just get get down there on his side. Yeah, I'm wrapped. He's gonna break off, dude. I know, I'm trying to bring him un under. I'm wrapped under that rock, bro. I see it. All right, he's unwrapped. All right, go. Another one. Got him. Oh. Oh, he's, he's fine. Hold, hold the net, just the net. Yeah, like that. You're good. It, huh? No, it's right there, but I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna have to cut it. It's okay. too deep. If I try, he'll die. Right. Sick. All right. What you think? Perfect though. Can I take a picture? Five dollars. Oh, <laughs> Can I do it for four? Four. Oh. You look like a nice guy. Yeah. The first one's free. <laughs> Get your today, man. Yeah. Nice. Peace. All right. Well, so much for staying for 30 more minutes. Yeah, right. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm 
What? I'm tired. Oh, is the net, is the net okay in there? Yeah, you can put the net in there. Yeah, put it on top of the... Well, yeah, it was a good morning. I mean, we caught fish. Hell yeah, we That's did. That's all that matters. It, it took you four hours to finally get something on I your know, bait stick. Dude. And, well, total we counted 12 fish. Yeah, 12 fish. Mackerel, spotty. It could be 13 if we want to count BJ's uh, Corvina. Or your lizard fish. Oh, yeah, lizard <laughs> fish. I did catch a lizard fish. <laughs> yeah, lizard fish, bat ray, shovel nose, spotty, mackerel, Corvina, thornback. Yeah, that's it. That was it, yeah. That was, that was a Every, good time. Everything but how it yeah, But I did get my first ever bat ray on a live mech that we caught out here. But I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with that. I, I didn't think I could do that, but hey. But hey, whoever's been saying lizard fish is candy for halibut, why are you lying? <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding, man. We, I tried the lizard fish, nothing but the lizard fish. So everything caught on our basics today was um, John Smelt that he made this morning and macro that was brought by bj and jared so shout out to them for hooking it up and uh and the mac caught by ken so yeah i mean it was satisfying it was fun we're probably gonna do it again i mean are you hooked on it yeah bro it yeah. was pretty fun trying to make some more rod holders and bring out your uh triple no, cross for real. but yeah Dude. it was fun guys i mean i encourage all you guys to get out here i hope you guys get out here you know the weather is warming up right now the water's warming up fish is coming out Bat ray, shark, shovel nose, everything's coming out to play right now. Big or small, they're all gonna be out here. So do me a favor and try to catch them all. But yeah, nothing else to say. I mean, subscribe if you already have not. Drop a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. If you guys have not checked the BG fishing community on Facebook, be sure to check that out. Answer all the questions, agree to the rules, and uh, you will be approved. I mean, like I said, I'm trying to keep that group very, very authentic and legit. No bots, no spams, no ads, no random crap, no trolling. So, if you guys want to join that community, we're all on it. We're pretty damn active. So, I encourage you guys to, you know, hop on over there and share your stories, your catches, recipes, whatever. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, guys, as always, good fishing and peace the hell out.